Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to give another example related to the use of exponent in converting numbers from standard form or standard notation to engineering notation. Now, a number in engineering notation has this form. So, the first component here is this one. You have to make sure that a number here is at least 1 and less than 1000. So, that is the first component. And then, the second component is going to be uh, a power of 10 where the... Um, sorry. Where the power... It is a power of 10 such that the exponent here must be able to be divided by 3. So, example, uh, this one, number 12, can be divided by 3, 9 can be divided by 3, 6, and 3. So, those are uh, the numbers here, and we have to make sure that a power of 10 has the exponent which is divisible by 3. So, that is the idea of a number in engineering notation. Uh, this is the second component, and this one here over here is the first component. Uh, this table here gives you example of prefixes and the powers of 10 that are commonly used in electronic measurements. So you can see that, for example, here we have 30.7. So this the first component here is a number that is uh, bigger than 1 or at least 1. And it is also less than 1000. And the second component here, you can see that the exponent over here, this is a power of 10 whose exponent is divisible by 3. So this is 10 to the power of negative 6. So when you get this um, notation, you know that this is a number that is written in terms of engineering notation. Yeah. <clears throat> now, Let's see uh, the meaning of this, for example. Well, when you have 10 to the power of negative 6, so you go to 10 to the power of negative 6, uh, the prefix is actually micro. So in other words, you can replace 10 to the power of negative 6 with the word micro next to this amps over here. So this is amperes here. So uh, instead of writing 30.7 times 10 to the power of negative 6 amperes, what you can do is you can replace 10 to the negative 6 with the word micro. So, so the whole thing becomes 30.7 micro amperes. Or if you don't want to write the word, you can use the symbol. So you can use this symbol over here. So micro here is replaced by this symbol. Uh, this is a Greek letter, mu. So you can see that it's 30. 0.7 micro amperes is the same thing, yeah. Just that you are using the symbol instead of you're spelling it out. So, um, what is other example? Well, other example that maybe you can relate. Uh, for example, you have three thousand grams. Okay, so three thousand grams can be written in terms of, if you want to write in terms of engineering notation, this is the same thing as. 3 times 10 to the power of 3 grams, right? So, we have 3, if you multiply it with 10 to the power of 3, you will get um, 3,000. So, 3,000 is the same thing as 3 times 10 to the power of 3. Now, if you look at this um, prefixes over here, 10 to the power of 3 is actually kilo. So, we can write down, uh, 3 times 10 to the power of 3 can be replaced by kilo and then we have this word so kilograms so um, what we have over here sorry there's no more uh, multiplication over there sorry so no more this one so you can see that uh, what we have over here is 3000 grams is equal to 3 kilograms or if you want, you can replace kilo here with just a symbol K. So sometimes uh, that's what we have. We will write down uh, 3000 grams is equal to 3 kg, 3 kilograms. Okay, um, that's it in terms of engineering notation. Now we're going to try and solve uh, some examples here. So we have uh, several numbers over here and we're going to try 
to write these numbers using engineering notation. Okay, so let's look at the first one here. We have uh, such a big value we have. Okay. Okay, all right. So clearly we need to come up with a number that is at least one and less than 1000. So following the idea that I have uh, talked about in the previous video, we know that the decimal point is somewhere here. Mm. So for example, if you uh, try to think of a number, uh, let's say um, we try to move this decimal point to uh, several places. So if you move to 1, 2, 3, then uh, the number here is still big. It's about 10,050. So we don't want this number. We want a smaller number, which is um, at least 1, or uh, it is not uh, bigger than 1,000. Yeah? So 10,050 is bigger than 1,000. So we're going to move uh, this point here three more spaces so we're going to move one two three and now it looks all right because what number we get over here is 10.05 uh, and you can see that we have moved how many places one two three four five six so we've moved six spaces so we know that this is going to be 10.05 times 10 to the power of six so this is the answer for this one well you can of course you can check you can check is it true that 10 to the 10.05 is uh, times 10 to the power of 6 is indeed this number so what you can do is we can check 10.05 times 10 to the power of 6 we know that uh, if you want to get the number we are just going to move this decimal point to the right uh, six spaces to the right so it's going to be 10.05 i'm going to move it to the right one, two, three, four, five, six. So here I'm going to fill up the space with the zeros. Okay. And obviously you get back the original number here. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Uh, this big value over here can be written in a compact form using this engineering notation. Okay, right. Uh, how about the second example? Uh, this one. So 8.15 times 10 to the power of 5. You can see clearly that 10 to the power of 5 is not engineering notation because engineering notation requires the, the exponent here that can be divided by 3. So what we can do is um, we can play around uh, with... For example, you can write down 8.15 in terms of, well, 815 times 10 negative 2. So what happens when you have 815 times 10 negative 2? This is what happened. Um, let's check. We're going to check. 815 times 10 negative 2 to the power of negative 2. So the decimal point is here, right here. And when you have a negative exponent, you need to move this decimal point uh, two places to the left. So if you move two places to the left, you will get 1, 2, and this becomes 8.15, which is the, the value over here. So 8.15 can be written as 815 times 10 to the power of negative 2. And this one over here, let's not forget about that, and it's going to be multiplied with 10 to the power of 5. Next, we are going to simplify these two guys over here. So it becomes 815 times 10 to the power of 3. And this looks alright because 3 here is a positive exponent and that is a number that is divisible by 3. So this is uh, definitely engineering notation. Yeah? Okay, now let's move on to the last question which is this one. So we have a small number here. So we have 0 0.00042. And uh, definitely we are going to have to move this decimal point to the to the right. And we're going to make sure that the movement here is 
uh, in terms of three spaces or six spaces or nine spaces in that manner yeah because we need numbers that are divisible by by three so uh, imagine if you if you move the the decimal point uh, this one here so one two three so three is not enough because the number is still going to be smaller than one which is 0 0.42 so we need to move another three more spaces which is one two three okay so so that means the decimal is going to be moved here and this empty space here is going to be filled with zero uh, therefore we can say that um, we will have four two zero four two zero times 10 to the power of negative 6 because you moved 6 spaces already okay now you can check whether this number will indeed give you the original number which is 0 0.00042 so what you can do is you can check so you can check 420 times 10 negative 6 uh, which means that if you have 420 the decimal point is, is here so you, since you have negative 6 you're going to move it to the left so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the decimal point is over there and you're going to fill up the spaces with 0 0 and 0 so since this is decimal point there will be 0 over there so 0 0.00042 which is what is the what is given by the original number here so we are all right so this is the answer for the third question this is the second question and the, the first question okay i think uh, that's all for now and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching